Welcome on back to the channel everybody. It is time to go deer hunting. Part two of the quest for the pond deer. This is really like part three and I've already hunted this deer for five or six days and we're putting in another weekend trying to go after this special deer that is living by this pond. We've already tried a makeshift canvas blind on this deer that didn't work out that well. We've tried a regular ground blind bow hunting for this deer and then we've backed off and tried to do some rifle hunting and the deer disappeared. We've given it some time, about a week or two, and now we're back. So now the hope is this deer has had enough time off with no hunting pressure that we can go back here, get in the rifle blind, and hopefully he shows up. Now let's get into the deer blind and start hunting the pond deer. sit right here. As you can tell, I'm not playing games because I've got a camo bandana on and I'm sitting with the rifle. I'm not even going to play around with the bow this time, y'all. We're getting straight down to business. As you've seen in the other videos, we've seen some other deer here. There's not many, but the big pond deer, he comes in usually in the mornings. And I've got uh, about three sits I'm going to do here in this area. Hopefully we get them on camera. I got my long lens, so we're gonna be filming with this. Cross your fingers that the pond air goes down. Six or 
campers it's just about freezing right now dead calm again and I have it on good authority from my buddy Gabe out here that he checked the trail camps yesterday I was wondering where the card was he had it he showed me that uh, pond deer was there yesterday yesterday morning around seven o'clock so uh, the, the stars are aligning literally right now this is the winter solstice um, I think they're calling it the Bethlehem Star is appearing. So, so maybe we'll have a little luck. So right now, perfectly in front of me at 100 yards, we've got the two and a half year old bruiser. And then we've got this other deer. I think it's the same deer I saw one evening that I was in the bow blind. I wish, I wish, I wish the big pond deer would show up and just stand right there where they are. go back check the trail cam pictures one more time just make sure I'm looking at the, the right deer that I thought I saw I was looking at it late last night on a tiny LCD screen so I may hunt somewhere else this evening since this deer is not showing up here in the evenings but we'll definitely be back here in the morning same spot same channel same program stay tuned <laughs>
call it a bad morning looking at nice deer had that 10 point brow time was broken off two and a half year old freak uh, you know he's he's gonna be a bruiser I hope he sticks around but pond deer did not show up now I came back here and I looked at the SD card out of the camera again there's been a new development the first time I ever looked at that camera I saw a buck and it was kind of I couldn't make, I couldn't make it out it was bad shadows and you know it was a weird position I, I knew it was a good mature buck but I, I just couldn't make it out as his antlers and everything this time I went back just a few days ago just trying to look and see the timing for the pond deer and there's a another pond deer I think we're just gonna call this guy pond deer number two and in fact he might be superior as far as antler wise to the old pond buck. The old pond deer number one, pretty decent mass. Uh, he's basically a mainframe nine and he's got a little kicker off his G2 on his right side. But this other deer pond, pond buck number two, he has got a monster brow tine coming up. I mean a monster brow tine, bigger than any other brow tine I've ever seen out here. And he's got some crab claws He's a really cool deer. Um, if that deer walks out, I will be sending a 308 round downrange. So our chances at getting a trophy buck at the pond just went up, and I've got this evening sit, and this deer, this other deer is coming in in the evening, so we got a chance there. You know, last couple days he hadn't been here. He was here three days ago, so he's due. They're both due to come in, and I hope all this waiting. All this dedication to this pond is gonna pay off. You look like a pirate. Right? <laughs> yeah, I like it. A redneck pirate? Yeah. That's the pond deer. That's the pond deer. <laughs> you know, what is this? Hey, look at this. Crazy. So I'm checking these deer. Uh, Mike wanted me to check this one stand, and I find the pond deer over there. And it almost it, it does make sense because it's only a few hundred yards yeah. away. It's just it, dude, it, I, th I want to check the dates, but I think on the 17th, I saw the pond deer on all three cameras. Really? Surely they're not still rotten. So, it is time that we head in. I've decided that I'm going to hunt the pond again, despite this deer triangulating the last few days. Uh, the only spot, though, that I've seen uh, the big unibrow is at the pond. We're hunting in the Crocs. A little good luck switch, you know, it's kind of like a rally cap. I got the bandana on, I got Crocs. Come on now, I'm, I'm doing what I can. Doing what I can, getting getting desperate out of here. I think this is day eight, day seven or eight. All right, man, the lucky tree. You see the pond here. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not shooting. You're not gonna shoot it. He's all set. The deer are somewhere between me and him. He's just up the road, probably three or four hundred yards. Just checking all the trail cameras, it seems like the pond deer is making, you know, a triangle. He's over at the house too, which is right down here. He's like, he's just hanging out here. He's not as consistent as he was, but honestly, I'm hoping pond deer number two comes out because he's just little more unique and he's crazy he's got some crazy antlers so we're all set loaded up ready to go so far I have seen the young deer the young big deer but that's it he just kind of walked across real quick back into the woods <laughs>
I had to walk back to the ATV just to like get some nerves out. This could be the biggest deer that I've ever shot. If if I hit him, I hope I did. I mean, it's not that far. It's like 125 yard shot maybe. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is just walk back in, kind of give like a quick scan of the area just to see if we have any evidence and then uh, we'll go from there. So for all y'all out there that are coming to the channel that have never deer hunted before, just hunting in general for any, you know, medium sized game and up, it is a emotional roller coaster. Just ups and downs of seeing animals, animals go away, you didn't get a shot and you finally get a shot. You, get, you hit the animal, you think. It's adrenaline highs, it's crazy lows. And that's the adventure of hunting. So I love it y'all, but I really hope I hit this deer. That's gonna make my Christmas. Okay, I just walked in here and we have good news.
especially there's there's even more blood on on the other side of the fence so that 308 is just phew, hard hitting <sighs> i'm gonna text mike let him know we got blood and i may go pick him up first and then have him help but uh it's looking like good stuff right now guys just got mike good evening good evening saw a lot of bucks yep heard some grunts heard some grunts for sure the, uh, the other deer that were in here didn't act ruddy at all, but he was acting ruddy all night. Let's go find your buck. All right, yeah, so I have, I've looked in the area, we got blood, but I just wanted to wait until we yep. got you, and we'll, we'll go after it, so. Let's do it. Let's give it a whirl. That's where the bull hit. Holy cow. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. And then, oh, that's a water. dead deer for sure. Yes, sir. I feel good. I feel good about it. You know, oh my goodness. We have a large amount of blood there. The red stuff. Dude, I'm getting. I'm getting a Makes the dead stuff. I'm getting a little antsy. Okay, it looks like he's from here. Yeah. Look at the tree. That's good dark right there. He's just bouncing off of stuff. Dude, dude. he's literally bouncing off. Oh my gosh. There he is. Dude. Oh man. I told you 20. Oh my gosh, that destroyed. Oh my gosh, he's a giant. Gosh. That is. <laughs> Holy cow, look at this deer. Well, guys. Look at that brow tie. Dude, look. He's got another a little nipple he broke off here. I mean, look at this brow tie. It's insane. That is an insane buck, y'all. Holy cow. Look at his G2s are freaking tall. That is so wicked, man. He's got a hook back here. Dude, that's a sweet buck. This is a absolute sweet buck, guys. I've Holy... never seen a brown tie, brown tie like that. I, dude, for the deer out here, this is super unique. Like, we just don't see bucks like this very often. So, 308, put him to sleep quick. Oh my gosh, let's get this guy loaded, let's get him up to the house, get a better look at him, and <sighs> it's time to celebrate. How could you have possibly thought you made a bad shot? Because just the way, I don't know, the way he ran off and like I couldn't see the impact, I was looking at the impact of the gate, because I saw this plume and I was like, did I hit him in the guts or something and blow yeah. it or totally miss? I saw all this dust, but absolutely smoked him. Dude, that's a good deer. Smoked it, dude. That's a cool buck. Oh, so that brow is crazy. That is wicked. That is crazy, man. Holy cow, what a buck. I think that is safe to say that is a wall hanger, ladies and gentlemen. Pond buck number two down. The quest is over. Well, y'all, we did it. We did it. I think this was seven days. So the original pond deer that we saw, he was doing a triangle situation. He was getting a little, little crazy. And then I noticed this deer about a month ago on the camera, but it was really dusty looking photo. Couldn't really make him out. And then saw some recent pics of him coming in. And I just said, wow, that deer is crazy unique uh, dude just look at his brow time I mean he's he's got a curled huge brow time both his brow times are curled back he's got this weird little offshoot off his main beam in the front right here just a super cool deer double crab claws and uh, he's super drawn up though from the rut this deer has probably lost like 30 pounds I can see his his backbone uh, his ribs are sticking out back back here and he's definitely
drawn up from, from being in the rut, but still an incredible buck. And I'm just so happy he came out, so glad. Got very lucky off, we got very lucky because this deer was just not on camera much at all. It was, it was pretty random. And I just made the decision to stick with that, um, staying at the pond for the chance that this guy would come out, and he did. So we never saw pond deer number one. Pond deer number two came out. I, I was so shaky. I didn't even know what happened after I, I pulled the trigger. I was like, I don't know. I could have I missed it. I don't know. I was shaking so hard. Uh, made a really good shot. This is the brace built sleeper in 308. Um, absolutely crushes. Didn't go very far, and it was awesome walking up on this deer me and mike have scouted this place a lot and seen a lot of deer and when we saw this deer on the trail cam we were both like what like that is insane we just don't see brow tines like that double crabs i mean he's he's just a really really cool deer and he'll definitely be going on the wall at the tree house so thank you guys for tuning in to this well, i guess it's pretty much a series now the quest for the pond deer, uh, the deer living down there at the pond. There's not many, but man, there's some good ones. So good luck on all of your outdoor adventures, guys. Go ahead and smash that like button for sticking it out and getting a big buck. And I will see you on the next adventure.